Hi there, I am Shidusha Juliana Galindi and I'm just invading the training of Luis San Sensei and the pre Shidushi actually, uh, Thiago San, that he will be doing his Shidushi's graduation exams in a few days. And therefore, they're here studying a very interesting technique in old Jujutsu technique with a great anthropological explanation in background from another area such as Japan. So I decide that will be a great opportunity for us to study for the Bugay practitioners and those who have curiosity about understanding better the, the techniques of Bugay, uh, letting them explain to us exactly uh, the technique that they are doing. Thank you, Brad. Well, we were here, and say Chao, that he is preparing himself for Shido's test in the following day. And we were discussing about uh, some specific controls, some specific techniques on ground combat, ground fighting. And we were going into the background of these techniques that links us, or tradition, to the Mongolian tradition and uh, that they have passed this kind of grabs, these kinds of passages, and this kind of fighting to the eastern side of, of Asia. And the Japanese used this passage, this uh, way of fighting, and including to his warrior arts. Then, what we, were, uh, we will see today is some specific passages that are not, uh, it's rarely seen in the sportive techniques, and because the controls are very destructive for the joints of our partner, then they have been removed from, from this sportive uh, practice. Then, what we will see today, it will be a passage that will uh, end with a double ankle control, a double ankle uh, lock, and it will be very interesting to see how the way they move and how the way they is uh, making the strategy to cut and to regain a position that in the beginning it's uh, uncomfortable for us. Then. Please, uh, with the permission of Sensei Chao, let's go into Harajime no Kamai and from this position, the first thing, we will turn around myself, going to cut with my right hand inside his leg, from this position, here, like trying to make Hajigatame control, but in this case we will push with my right leg in order to pass to the side from this position. Before he tries to regain, I cut the ankle, the foot of the opponent, and from here I will pass my leg around his foot, trying to make a small, uh, a small circle around his ankle from this position. And we will have the first ankle control, the first ankle lock from this. If we try to be very, very close here, we will have the first, the first lock. But in this case, he could escape from this, only passing this leg and he will be going out. Then we cannot stay here because we need to control this part and we'll use another ankle control. Then from here, having a small space here, we will pass my right arm around his left leg from this position to have the other ankle control. And from here, we will have these both uh, controls. So, Sensei Luis, you're saying that here, by applying a really big pressure over those anatomical structures, you will be causing two ankle fractures. Yes, we will be destructing this, this ankle, making this small, this small lock here, in order to be a torsion in his ankle from here, and he is being damaging in this position. And from here, we are making a liberate from our hands, from our arms, here in order to be this ankle control. Then we are damaging the both structures of the ankles. Then in the following we are going. If you sensei, with your permission, can do it, please. Of course. My pleasure. 
Okay, from here, pass to the side, very good, from here, make the press on the leg, pass to this side, have this control, and from here, right, these are the both ankle controls. So, uh, if you allow me to take liberty, press you those shoe chagos, uh, uh, the ankle control that you were doing during this passage is that your leg caught his, his leg and then you adjust by really bringing your leg close to your body. Well, what we saw here is this is not a... We don't find the leverage that Sensei Luis was talking just now. We don't have the lock anymore. This is just a Osai because he... Uh, knowing the danger of this movement, let's see it one more time. He intelligently got away from it in the first place. So, what does happen? If I was uh, to try to make just the first technique, as Sensei was, was saying, so, first of all, I'll have a position which, which guards me from his, uh, from his major weapons in here. And so, when I'm here, the first thing that Sensei was trying to show was to find these, these lock. Okay, this is specifically angle? This lock, yes. This lock would happen if I have this and this. If I had a means to, to keep him there, to keep him uh, pinned down, to, to, uh, to apply this, this lock, we could finish by here. But what happens is he could, trying to stretch this leg or trying to spin, you know, he could uh, get away from this. So what we do is, once we are, once we are here, there is one and two. And he will try to evade by taking this leg off. So from here... Oh, so actually you can grab the leg just before he turns around and bring his heart up. Yes, up. yes. What Sensei was just uh, telling us, he was talking, he was um, uh, teaching us and showing us the anthropological point of view. But of course, for uh, in order to to prevent damage and so on. He was not talking about the Atemi part in classical Jutsu. So for example, if I'm here, if I'm here and I, uh, and I get f uh, far from, from him like this, he could have huge Kakato Atemi, he could have many kinds of uh, uh, leg uh, impacts and so on, which could be very dangerous and including in the previous passages, so on. So <clears throat> one last time. Since he allows me. So, once I got this, this letter here, I'll try to catch him. One and two. And I'll have to keep myself guarded. You know, he can't reach me with his hands. He is keeping his genitals protected. But he has to find a way to um, get away from this lock. So I have to keep myself uh, guarded down. And so, this is one of the ways that we had for that. And thus, we can find here both the locks that Sensei was just showing us right now, both in here and here. As we have seen, the application is very clear. It's, uh, and it's very clever because we have here a uh, double ankle lock. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ju. I'm sorry for a video training, and I hope to bring more curiosities about the boogie study that we have here with all details and anthropological explanations. Thank you.